Hi everybody, it's Thursday evening and uh, I'm going to spend some time talking about rain. How about that? So let's get you going. Let's talk about Friday. So this is the uh, the weather model rain forecast. It's on the homepage of my desktop and then it's also on the satellite page of the um, apps. And this is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it shows a pretty good batch of rain coming up over central Oregon and then pushing into the Blue Mountains and Pendleton. So the main thrust of tomorrow's weather system is clearly central and eastern Oregon. Some pretty good rain, some lightning, but we'll get clouds on the back end of this, and we may, in fact, get some traces of rain, okay? But but that would be it. For the most part, we're just going to get cloudiness in the morning that I think will be thinning somewhat uh, during the afternoon. All right, now, if you look at the uh, the planner on the homepage again, you can go 18% chance of rain, 2 p.m., 20% chance of rain at 5 p.m., a lot of clouds around, much cooler temperatures. I think we will get up into the 70s. I'm forecasting 74 for high tomorrow, so we'll see. So we will see. And then if I go to the seven-day forecast, it is pretty quiet, but it is much cooler. It was 86 degrees today. I'd forecast 85. So tomorrow, 74. Partly cloudy Saturday, 78. Sunday, a lot of sun, 78. Monday, another great day, 76. Clouds increase Tuesday. There's a, a weak front that comes in Tuesday night. I mean, I would say there's at least a chance of, again, maybe a trace of rain, but it looks like that front kind of falls apart, brings us some clouds into Wednesday morning, and then Wednesday goes on to be partly cloudy. But the clouding, the cloudiness increasing on Thursday on my seven-day, that is ahead of what could be an all-out soaking rain event that following Friday. So that would be a week from tomorrow. There's a cold front that comes in. Forecast models for about 10 days now have been showing rain a week from this weekend. One day you look at the models and, and, and they go nuts. And they go, wow, two-day rain totals of a half of an inch, three-quarters of an inch. And the next day it's more like eh, 15 one-hundredths of an inch. But the bigger story is this is starting to show up on all weather models now that we could get some beneficial rain a week from this weekend. And then getting into the mid part of that following week, there's also some shots of rain that have been pretty consistently showing up. So we change weather gears tomorrow. Instead of being up in the 80s, we're in the 70s. And maybe we get a trace of rain. And then we kind of hold in the 70s. And then we get maybe a really active weather system the following weekend, as I mentioned. So for those of you that are really wanting some rain, and a lot of us do for a lot of reasons, um, that is the update on the rain potential situation. All right, I hope you have a good Friday and uh, a nice weekend upcoming, and I will talk to you soon.